Hey crafty friends, it's Emily and I am back with a Catherine Pooler release. So let's check out these new ink pads. We got Verba Verbena and Goldenrod. So a nice pretty purple and a yellow. And then I have these Pedaling By Stamps and Die set here that are brand new. I'm excited to use those today. And then the 40 Love Pattern Paper. This paper is super pretty. I love these colors together, the purple and the yellows and the coral. And then here are all the different patterns you get. So you get some that have like the tennis type pattern and some are just geometric like this and obviously go really well with these two brand new colors, which are just gorgeous. I can't wait to use that purple. So here are all the different patterns. This one's really cool. This is a tennis court basically. So you could put one back to back like that and make a court, which I thought was kind of cute. So here are all these stamps. Take a closer look at these and the dies. And I think I'm going to start by just taking out a couple of these dies. Um, these ones in the center of the wheels. Uh, but I'm going to keep everything else where it is because then I can just kind of move them around on my sticky mat and then stamp what I want. So those are the only two that I believe were out of place. So yep, so let's put this on my die cutting machine with some just white cardstock here. And I'm going to take all my elements off. This is the what I find to be the easiest way for me is to die cut out first and then stamp. Oh, and I almost forgot this really pretty new sequin uh, Wimbledon. How cute is that? So it's all kind of like tennis theme, um, bike theme. and um, But here we go. I'm just going to put all my little die cut pieces on my sticky mat here. This is the Misty stamping platform with the Misty sticky mat. And actually the bottom half of my stamps um, and my paper actually doesn't stick as well because I've been using this one quite a bit as you can see all the ink and whatnot on it so you'll see me remove those ones but I'm just going through and lining up all the stamps that go with what um, and just kind of seeing I want to do a little basket and then I realized that one bike one goes on the top one and that bike die actually layers which is really cool so we got the wheels on there and just placing my stamps all around on whatever images it, they go, they coordinate with. So I removed quite a bit of them because um, my bottom half were not sticking very well. But I also have some midnight here. So I'm going to stamp some midnight onto the wheels. And I'm going to put my circle down here and see if I can, there we go, get it on there. Nice, that worked out. And that looks good on my bike there. And then I have some over coffee I'm going to use to put a little brown on my basket. And I also did the cute little cat face here, so you can see that. And the cat's going to go in the basket. How cute is that? <laughs> and you can definitely color your cat. It has a stamp for the cat as well, but I liked her just like with the white with the little black. And then I have a clay mask, which is actually one of the recommended inks on the pattern paper. And I'm going to stamp this onto the main part of my bike. Um, my own bike is my inspiration here. I actually have a coral bike with a basket and all that good stuff. So <laughs> I really was inspired by this. I love bike riding. Um, this stamp and dice, that's so fun. And then there's two separate stamps even for the seat and pedal. But here I'm going to use some purple. But look at this. Look at all the ink on here. How beautiful is that? So I just got a little excess off on some white cards that I'll use later for the card and then stamping on that bike seat and handle like we just talked about with the purple so now I'm going to focus on these cute little balloons I'm kind of just stamping on whatever elements I like best and um and look at how cute that's going to be with the basket with the wheel and then there's an extra wheel if you wanted to I don't know add another one on there which I might do for a second card we'll see <laughs> so now I'm just doing the little strings for the balloons I was a little off the first one so I'm going to stamp it again I don't really care that there's more than one string looking on there it kind of looks kind of looks neat like there's more behind the two balloons and then I'm using the new goldenrod color this is a really nice beautiful kind of deeper ye yellow color mustardy and I'm just going to glue this piece on top of my bike one here and look at how neat this looks. It's so cute. And then I have my basket. But first I'm going to put my cat in there. So I'm just going to glue him. Um, there's a little end piece on the cat that you can put a little glue on or adhesive. I just use glue. And then her little paws pop out. How cute is that? So now I'm going to put my basket on. I actually have a thin uh, foam square. So And then I can stick my balloons in. How cute. So I'm going to get a little bit of glue here for my balloons. I'm just going to put a little bit here on the tip of the balloon. And then I'm just going to stick it in because I have that hole there. And then just making sure it's kind of in a nice spot. 
and holding it down because I do have that foam there so I just want to make sure that sticks well so it looks great so I'm going to grab some pattern paper that I think would go great with my bike so I have this purple with the coral I think would look great obviously in that yellow and I'm just actually using our um, my own card sentiment die so Emily Moore designs and then I have they have these two really cute sayings um, and I figured you know what I'm just going to stamp them now uh, while I have my stamp platform out and then I also cut out, these fit perfectly on our rectangle card sentiment dies. So this is Emily Moore Designs, our card sentiment dies. And these sentiments fit perfectly on there. So that's super nice. I'm just going to go on and make sure my bottom one, since that bottom half of my sticky mat isn't as sticky anymore just because I've used it so much. So I'm using the new purple and the clay mask color. And I'm going to do clay mask a little bit more because I've used that quite a bit. So this looks great. Look at that purple and the coral. They look so pretty. And so this, I feel like the outside of my card, I was going to put the sentiment on the outside, but then I started thinking this looks really cute as is. The bike's kind of big. Let me find some pattern paper for the inside so here's this really pretty geometric with the coral and then I decided obviously I'm going to use these beautiful Wimbledon sequins they're just so nice and I'm going to put the bike on the front of my card with some foam but before I do that um, I like to look at these cute little pearls that are in there sorry I just wanted to show you those <laughs> before I glue the front down I like to work on the inside and make sure everything is all put together and that way you're not there's no bulkiness when you try to work on the inside of your card so I'm just um, putting some adhesive down on the front here and gluing this liner onto the front of my card and then this piece I think is going to go on the inside and here's that purple that I did and I'm going to cut out one from the scallop and dots um, from Catherine Pooler and then here are my sentiments so I decided on the coral one because I like that with the coral background up against the purple and then here you're gonna be like what is this so I'm cutting out the scrap so I know obviously there's a hole in here <laughs> there's a hole in the paper and I'm filling in some more of that purple on the edges that was white and I'm just gonna let that dry and then we're gonna put this white one on top of it so you're not even gonna know you're just we're just gonna be able to use that I want to be able to utilize all this beautiful color that we already put on our paper so that's one way you can do that so here I'm putting the coral down first and then the purple. I really love this pop of purple on that really busy pattern. It's a really beautiful pattern, but it's quite busy. So it's nice to have a little bit of block of color there before you put your sentiment down and then putting that down as straight as possible with our card sentiment die and some foam tape. So now here I can do the front of my card and I'm just going to Put this right in the center i just think it's so cute with the little cat and now i decided i'm just going to sprinkle a bunch of sequins all around first i decided to do the center of the bike wheels here just to add a little bit of um a little bit of something to the bike a little bit of detailed design and these are the little purple ones i use so that looks really cute and then i'm gonna just keep going um, on the top here where it's a little bit more plain and um, I, you know, arguably added too many sequins. I was going to stop here, but then I figured let's put some, there's some really pretty yellow ones. I wanted to put on the, our pretty yellow balloons. And I put some in the corner here. Um, but I figured why not, why stop there? Let's just keep going. <laughs> I feel like you can never have too many sequins. I think they're just such a beautiful finishing touch. And since we don't have a sentiment on the front of our card, I just thought this, ugh, look at how cute. I just thought it looked so cute with all them sequins. So I put even more sequins on the inside and I put one of the pearls on there that I absolutely love. So now let's finish this inside bottom half of our card so I can show you what I'm talking about. So I have adhesive on the bottom half here and then I'm going to put my larger um, scalloped one down. This is from Catherine Pooler. And that way you have somewhere to write. So that is our beautiful card with our cute little kitty with the new Catherine Pooler collection. Make sure to shop it now today and get those new ink colors. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.